Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin and today I'm going to be making a cardigan. I've been wanting to knit a cardigan for some time. I've always felt like making a cardigan was going to be a bit too advanced for me. Um, so I've tried to make things that are sort of all one shape, nothing that's too complex. But actually having watched some videos of people making cardigans, I've realised that a cardigan is basically just a whole bunch of squares, rectangles, sewn together so i think i could do that for this cardigan i have a pack of wool i have rainbow wool so as you can see i've got every color of the rainbow and then in addition to that i've got pink black gray and white i know that a lot of people start out making cardigans and things using a chunkier wool which is probably going to be a lot easier but I don't have chunky wool in my stash. Maybe a chunky wool cardigan will be something later down the road, but for now, I'm making it using this one, which I know is gonna take me a lot longer because I need to use smaller needles and etc. etc. But I think it'll look nice. I think this rainbow cardigan's gonna look great. Yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. So I haven't worked out the colour scheme yet of like which order the colours are gonna go in. Obviously, I want the colours to go in the um I want the colours to go in the rainbow order, but I'm just more thinking, what, what am I doing with these black, grey and white? Am I including them? Am I not including them? I'm definitely including pink. I love pink, but I don't know about these so much yet. And then I'm gonna make a cardigan, I suppose. <laughs> so, wish me luck. So here's what I've decided. I'm gonna do the colours in the rainbow, like traditional type rainbow, but including pink. Obviously pink isn't in the rainbow, but I really want pink, so I'm gonna have it. And I'm not going to include the grey, white or black at this point. Maybe I'll see how it looks at the end and use the grey, white or black to do the, um, what's that part called? The bit around the edges. I don't know what that's called. But we'll see anyway how it looks at the end. Um, for now, all I've done so far is start the ribbing. I'm starting from the bottom of the cardigan and I'm doing the back panel so all I've done is cast it on 120 stitches doing a ribbing and I don't know how many rows I'm going to rib it for maybe 10 or so. What I've decided to do is I'm going to do it like a chunk of red, a chunk of orange, a chunk of yellow so it's going to be the rainbow but instead of a repeated pattern it's just going to be once and there's going to be thicker bands of colour. But anyway for now all I'm doing is um, knitting this Oh. But for now, all I'm doing is the rib stitch and I'm just going to keep doing that until um, I have enough rows. Again, as I'm making this up, I haven't got a pattern. I really am just kind of guessing how many stitches, how many um, rows. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I can't remember where I got this wool from or how much it costed, but I can remember it being fairly cheap. If I had to guess how much it costed, I'd say it was probably around eight to 10 pounds for the whole pack, which is really cheap. So this wool is not of you know high quality by any means. So, you know, obviously if you wanted to do this sort of thing, you could buy better wool. Hopefully I'm not gonna regret using really cheap wool. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna get into it because I've been rambling forever. So this is what it looks like after one full day of knitting. I have done the red, orange and yellow and finished those. And that is 120 stitches and then 20 rows for each colour. Already foreseeing a bit of a problem because I have left this much of the orange, this much of the yellow. When you compare it to like the full size, how much is left, it's very small. So I'm thinking to make a full cardigan with sleeves, I'm going to need another packet of this. I am gonna try and find some of this online somewhere and try and order some maybe but who knows. Um, if not I'll just have to try and figure out where I got it from and just buy some more. So far I really like what, how it's turning out. So 
this is really day three of knitting. I've just finished work, so it's about, it's six o'clock, so I got home about five past five and had a little snack and a drink. And now I'm gonna get straight back into knitting. I've finished my blue, so all I have left to do on the back panel now is the lilac and pink. And then the whole back is done. So hopefully I can finish at least the lilac today. I don't know if I'll get lilac and pink done today because um, it takes me quite a long time to get through one chunk of colour. But I'll try my best and do what I can. It's really hard for me to get a lot of knitting done when I'm working because I work full time. So I really, I leave the house around quarter to eight in the morning. So by the time I've got up and um, got ready for work. It doesn't leave me with a lot of time to do anything really in the mornings. And then I get home around five o'clock every day. And that's most of my day just gone at work. So, so it doesn't leave me with a whole bunch of time for knitting. So it's really just like a free time thing, hobby type thing. But I'm going to try my best to get as much of this done during the week as I can. I, at the very least, I want to finish the back panel during the weekdays, you know, I'll see what I can do. I did get to finish my back panel by the end of the week. It's now Friday and as you can see, I've cast off my back panel. I have done really well. I didn't do much filming for the purple and the pink, but I'm really happy with how this has come out. And also I have started one of my side panels. Um, I'm just going through in the same order that I've started this back one. Um, I've cast on 50 stitches for this. And again, it looks really small right now, but um, it does obviously widen out. And I've just finished my green, so I'm about to start with my blue as well. I have 120 stitches for each row on this panel, whereas this is only 50, so this is knitting up so much faster. It's currently like half seven, and I've got nothing else to do but knit, so I am gonna try and finish at least this one by the end of today. Okay, so I have now finished both the side panels, as you can see. Um, I've kind of just like clipped them in place for a minute just to show you sort of how I'm picturing it. Obviously this is the back panel. Um, I think I definitely made it wide enough. I feel like it's at the perfect length. It's not cropped, it literally just comes to like my t-shirt length really. Hopefully once I get the button band all around the edge that will help with the curling. And what I'm thinking, obviously I need to do the sleeve still. What I'm thinking is once I've done the sleeves, I'm gonna do the button band. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do it in red just because the ribbon is in red. I would like to have done it in pink because I love, I love pink. But I'm thinking red makes the most sense just because the cuffs of the sleeve are gonna be red and the, the bottom of this is red. I think it just, it's gonna make the most sense. It's gonna go the most naturally, I think, but Anyway, it just it mostly depends on how much wool I have left as well. I'm gonna do the sleeves next and I haven't quite figured out yet how I want to do the decreases. Obviously I want this top part to be bigger than the bottom part, but I don't know whether to leave it sort of like ballooning and then bring it in at the cuff or to 
sort of gradually decrease down the sleep. I don't really know yet. I might just have a look online, watch some YouTube videos, see how other people have done it and go with what I think is going to look nicest, I suppose. But yeah, I'm really excited. So far, I love it. I've got one arm done, two side pieces and the back panel and I'm almost finished with my final arm. I am just doing my rib stitches now and then I'm going to cast off and then I just have to sew this bad boy together. I don't actually know how many hours I've put into making this so far but it has been a lot of hours. Obviously I'm not a very fast knitter but I have definitely picked up speed doing this cardigan. Um, this arm has taken me no time at all to whip up and even the ribbing I'm getting really fast now so I'm definitely improving. So yeah I'm just gonna finish this up tonight and hopefully start to plan out sewing this together. Okay, now I have all of my pieces finished off the needles. We have two side panels, a back piece and two sleeves here. So now I just need to sew it all together. The first thing that I'm going to do is pin the pieces together and that's going to start with the side pieces. I'm going to sew them together at the top and then before I sew up along the sides I need to get the arms on. So that's all, I'm just going to sew along the top of these and see how that goes. Here I have my cardigan all sewn together. I didn't use any fancy type of stitches. You can see it looks quite neat along the top parts here. This is two separate pieces here sewn together. You can barely even see where it's sewn together honestly. I think anyway so I'm quite pleased with that. And I really did no special stitches. I just kind of made everything up as I went along as I've been doing throughout this whole process. But now I'm gonna have to watch a video and figure out how to pick up the stitches along this edge so that I can make a button band and I am not planning to put actual buttons on this I just want it to be an open cardigan I still want to put the band on I think that might be cute I don't know yet but once I put it on if I really really hate it I'm just gonna take it back off again so yeah wish me luck Here I have my finished cardigan. I am so happy with how this has turned out. I can't even, I can't believe how cute this turned out. I really wasn't expecting it to be this cute. The sleeves are really long. Uh, I'm actually used to having all of my sleeves and trousers too short for me. So absolutely love that these kind of like touch my hands for sure. Um, I definitely could have done with making the ribbon a bit tighter or maybe even decreasing a bit more on the sleeves, but that's fine. I'm not unhappy with how it's turned out. The button band, I'm not too sure about. I know I don't actually have any buttons on there. I wanted to keep it as like an open cardigan, but I'm not entirely sure about the button band, if I'm honest. I think I probably would have liked it best if it was in pink. Um, but I don't hate it. I just, I just don't love it. I don't think it added all that much. I think that the cardigan looked fine without it. But still, I'm going to leave it on now it's there. I'm just so excited to have finished this. This was a really lengthy process, so... I'd say it's definitely around 70 hours it's taken me to knit this and then not to mention another about eight hours nine hours of just sewing it all together like you have no idea how long it takes until you start doing it like definitely worth it in the end because I literally love it but yeah it took a really really long time how people knit garments and sell them I, I have no idea because this took me so long to do and I know I'm still a beginner so it's gonna take me a bit longer than maybe experienced knitters but I honestly 
hats off for people who do this for their, for their job because no amount of money would make me want to part with this after the amount of time I've put into this, the time, energy, effort I've put into making this cardigan. This is mine forever. <laughs> But yes, please let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really enjoying knitting at the moment and I am gonna carry on doing some. But if you have any ideas for future videos that I could do, please let me know. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.